Hey gang, Galusia here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another Pokemon trading card game opening. Today, we're primarily focusing on this bad boy, the Pikachu Shining Fates box, of which I have two. My daughter was playing with the other one, so the cards have slid around a little bit, so it's been honestly just bugging me. I keep looking at it and seeing the cards slid around, and I'm like, no, I need to deal with that. And then if I have the time, I think between the two, we'll squeeze in some battle styles just because that is still currently the newest set. And we always want to keep searching for some of the cards on the newest set. As has been the tradition lately, I have my Hatterene background. I've been really enjoying um, opening up the battle styles again. Obviously, it is the newest set, and so that's always fun to look at all the new cards but um i still think out of all of the available cards that we have uh throughout the sword and shield i still feel like shining fates is my favorite because there is so many special cards that we can get a hold on professor's research womp womp also it's probably the hardest set to complete you know if you're a completionist like me and you want to 100 percent complete the whole thing because there's just so many like ultra rares and whatnot from all of the various shiny cards like it's just genuinely really hard to finish it so i got a lux ray as my reverse and a cramorant v which i don't think I have this one yet, so I will take it. That is actually a pretty cool looking card. Code. Two. One, two, three, four. A lot of lightning energy already today. Not that I really give a hoot about the energy cards. I have enough energy cards to flood a bathtub, but... Cagney, Shinx, Nicket, what? An upside down amazing rare and an indeedy hollow. <laughs> what is actually happening? It was upside down. That is wild. Well, I've gotten this card before, but that is still always a good card to pull. Really cool looking card. It's just wild that it was upside down. Never ceases to amaze me the kind of weird stuff you just happen across with Pokemon cards. Let's mix it up and do a Battle Styles. Alright, so we got a Battle Styles code for you. Okay, Fighting Energy started off. Tool Jammer, Golbat, Glyzor. Cackney, Spoink, Roly Coley, Frillish, Esper, Blipbug is my reverse, and a Hollow or Beetle is my regular. Okay, back to Shining Fates. Shining Fates code. Two, three, four. Bow. Fire energy to start us off. I think a lot of Cramorants, like now that we have the V, it's like, hey, you want a bunch of these cards? Sure. Why not? Float Soul for my reverse and a Zura Dude. Okay, another Shining Fates. Boom. Code. Fighting Energy. Oh my god, again with the Cramorant? It's like, it's like this... <laughs> it's like... It really is. It seems like every time I do a card opening, there's always like a theme. There's always like that one card. Ah, Ducklet Shiny. How freaking adorable is that? And it's pink instead of blue. I love it. And behind it, an Alchemy VMAX. Okay, we got the one and only secret rare of the... Shining Fates. I will take that as well. I do already have an Alchemy VMAX uh, 
secret rare, but that's okay. I'll take it. You know what? Good run so far on the Shining, so let's do another Battle Styles. And for those of you that hunt for, for Pokemon cards and are curious, I'm pretty sure that all of today's cards came from Target, but from different times. The, the Shining Fates packs I got in a very large haul uh, a while ago now that I've just been like slowly dipping into, and then... In a recent Target run, I got the boosters for Battle Styles. All right, so Colossal. So we got a rare on our reversal at least, and a Drampa. So nothing crazy yet in Battle Styles, but we have only opened two so far. So it's bound to happen, right? Code for some more Shining Fates. A lot of lightning energy today. Looks you. Star Tricks. Rusted Shield. Marpeco. Coughing. Glorcifer. Cacne. Choodle. Shinx is my reverse. And another Hollow Indeedy. Okay. We're going to do another Battle Styles here. So here's a Battle Styles code for you. Let me go, let me know in the comment what you guys, if you are enjoying kind of like mixing it up, you know, and, and jumping around. Because I really want to do the Shining Fates because I am a huge Shining Fates fan and I wanted to keep those going. But since Battle Styles is the new hotness, I also wanted to keep opening those there's a uh mine shall for my reverse so that's a pretty good one as far as reverses go and then a houndoom hollow not bad not bad so this is the last battle styles of the day and i have not gotten anything worthy of the back wall for battle styles yet so let's see if we get a battle style redemption on this last pack. Look at Tongue. Horsey. Torn of Iron for my reverse. And Conqueror. Well, at least I don't have that card yet. At least it's a rare I don't have yet. Really, when you think about it, we're not doing that bad. We've opened six Shining Fate packs so far. And we've got four on the back wall. So, not too shabby. Metal energy to start us off. Some, oh my gosh, double pulls. Tropius got snuck in there with the Rowlet behind it. Chulet. More Peko. Coughing. Lucifer. A shiny Rowlet. Very nice. And behind it, a Rillaboom Hollow. So nice Hollow for the Rillaboom. And of course, always nice to see a shiny, even if it's a baby shiny. We will take it. We go a little baby shiny on the back wall. Last pack of the day. I've got man, I don't know what I don't know what it is. I have really I had really good vibes it's about these Pikachu promo boxes that I had going on. So I really wanted to open them. And they are not disappointing. We've got five cards on the back wall out of seven. Can we go six out of eight? Six out of eight would be incredible. I still have good vibes. I've had good vibes throughout this, but I still have... You get that feeling in your gut when you're just like, oh, man, I'm going to pull something exciting. I can feel it. Oh, something shiny here. Grim Snarl V Shiny, which is already a member of the fam, but that's okay because that's still a awesome card. And then behind it, a Morpeko V, which I have not pulled yet. Are you kidding me? Look at the back wall, guys. Let's back wall this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards worthy of the back wall out of eight Shining Fate packs. And this is exactly why I love opening Shining Fates. Because they are way too fun and way too awesome. So let's do a recap here. A lot of these are new to my collection as well, which is always nice. The 
Cramorant V kicked us off, and I do really like the art on the Cramorant V. That is a lot of fun. The Morpeko V, which this is, uh, I would say out of the regular Vs of the set, probably one of my favorites. The Amazing Rare for the Reshiram, which I love these Amazing Rares. I really, really appreciate the like crazy explosion of colors behind them. It really makes the characters stand out, and there's a nice texture to them. And then, of course, the Alchemy VMAX, which is the only secret rare that you can find of the set. And like I said, that is a copy for me, but I like if I get a card like this, I, it gives me a chance to really stare at the cards hard and decide which of the two I feel like is the better quality. You know what I mean? So that like I have a chance to like really you know put a nicer version of the card in my set at least. And then we got some baby shinies, the ducklet. Oh man, I don't know. I have the ducklet and the rowlet. I think the ducklet is probably. I'm I'm a big duck fan. All the duck. Pokemons uh, I want in my corner and I do really like the shiny because it's pink and purple Rather than what you would typically see which is the blues and then of course the Rowlet baby shiny and then that grim snarl V shiny so pretty solid opening nothing worthy of the back wall for the battle styles but like i said uh, that's okay because uh we we only opened four and i did get at least like some rares and reverse rares that are new to the collection so at least we grew the collection but seven cards that are in fact worthy so awesome pool i'm glad that i finally dug into those it's been burning me up just staring at those sitting in my collection waiting to be open so thank you everybody for coming out I appreciate the view and support as always, and I will see you in the next one.